what have I got here? Another crew review for you guys. This is a Capriso Old Fashioned Percolator, and it's called Perk. P-E-R-K. Perk. And you can walk it. Walk the perk. <laughs> and drag it back again. <laughs> it's got a short leash. <laughs> it's the only problem. <laughs> it's the old-fashioned type. Plug it in. And it's... <laughs> I mean, I remember these when I was a kid. This is this is the way you made coffee. And this was even an upgrade from the one like this that you put on the stove. They went electric. That's how old I am, right? So what happens is this goes down in there with the water. It gets hot. The water comes up through here, showers onto this lid, goes through the holes in the lid. There's all holes in here, down onto the coffee, goes through the holes, down back into the pot. It's as simple as that. It's an old-fashioned percolator. I remember these when I was a kid. Glass lid so you can see the perking action going on. And uh, this is eight, uh, eight five-ounce cups, so you're going to get 40-ounce yield out of this. Uh, stainless steel, a heat-resistant base, and an indicator light that shows that it's on and doing its thing. So that's basically how it works. There is one thing I want to show you before we actually perk with this because... Uh, what I found was, uh, I'll, sh I'll show you what happened. I was messing around with it earlier. You know, you got to mess around with these things before you go on to doing the real thing. Okay, it was in the pot, like this. It sits down in that cavity. Uh, the, the shaft in the middle sits in that thing in the bottom, and it heats the water and sends it up through. So I took this out, and I went, oh, look at that. Okay, I put this back in. And I thought, okay, and I hit it good this time. And this, this is what happened. It would fall to the side. It would do like this. It would do like this, do like this. And I, if I just happened to hit it, great. Or I'd have to bend over. And then I tipped it over. So that was a really inconvenient. I thought that, that was a con. And I'm going to show the con right up front. This is how I would do it. I would put my ground coffee in like this, shake it around. Put it in. I would then put this up the middle, hold it by that, and set it down in there. And that will cause a lot less heartburn. That's what I think anyway. The other thing on this machine is there's a lock and an unlock. It's a, it's a icon here. It corresponds with a dot right there. Make sure that the unlock and then turn it. If you get this over here and put it on, which we did, it's impossible to get off. We practically had to take a hammer to the thing. The other con, short cord. We thought it was extremely short. A pro, stainless steel, that's nice. So let's perk, let's see what it's like. We're gonna get some coffee, gonna get some water, and I'm gonna perk some Twilight and see what it tastes like. All right, so we're ready to go. Uh, there's, there's markers on the inside of this for four, six, and eight cups. We're going to do the eight. And there's also markers, you can see the indent on the outside for the coffee that goes in there too. we got it ground pretty coarse, which is what they recommend. Oh, I had this plugged in. Right up to the... Ah, oh, dribble more. Come on. There we go. All right, and here's my trick. Like I mentioned, down in there. Put the lid on. Line this up with the lock. Turn it. And then we're going to turn it on. I got a little thing down here to turn it on. I notice that there's no on-off switch. When you plug it in, it starts going. I suspect if you, everything wasn't ready to go in there that it would... Uh, overheat and it would kick itself out. These things all have safeties in them these days, so I don't think it's a big deal. And you can see it perking right there, just like I used, used to see when I was a kid. What? In the 1800s? That's not nice and it's not true. The 50s. The 60s. I remember it all. We'll be back as soon as it's done. Okay, so the light is indi indicates that it's done. It's perked, it's done its thing. And so what's left? Taste test. That's what I say. I'm just gonna unplug it, make it easier on myself. 
Uh, first thing I notice as I'm pouring, not as clear a cup, which I would expect. It doesn't have a paper filter or a gold filter. You're probably going to get a little bit more sediment in there. Ooh, hotter than a typical brewer that I've, you know, the latest um, SCAA brewers that are um, certified. This seems to be a little hotter. I don't know what the temperature is. It took about seven and a half minutes for the eight cup, just so you know, 50 ounces or 40 ounces, not 50. Um, a little weaker than I like, but uh, that's all just proportions and how you grind your coffee. So the, the pot seems to work great. Uh, it's your basic pot. It's a percolator pot, just like I remember when I was a kid with the glass and the whole deal. You can watch it parking up here through the glass. So check it out on our website. The rest of the stats are going to be there. And thanks a lot for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.